Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today uh, we're working on a new chicken coop. The egg mobile that we have out in the yard, uh, out in the field right now, uh, it's just not big enough. Uh, we had a neighboring farm that called us up and asked us if we wanted their chickens and they have 25 birds in their flock and uh, we of course told them we would. <laughs> but the only problem with that was I needed a, needed a bigger coop for them. So what I'm doing right now is I'm laying out some, some uh, cuts on some 4x4s that are going to be used to make um, an X-frame style that's uh, uh, an X-frame style coop that's highly inspired by uh, what you see on uh, Joel Salton's um, farm over at Polyface in uh, in Virginia. Um, this coop should hold, uh, I believe, a hundred. 150 birds something like that but the nice thing i like about the design i have that it's easily uh, it's easily expandable so i can make it up to you know 200 three four five hundred however many birds that we end up ever ever would want um I, the nest box design that i have that i'm uh, should work out to where i can um i can duplicate that and uh and just add on to the nest boxes to easily be able to accommodate you know hundreds of birds instead of uh, just a small 25 that we have right now for the trusses of the X-frame, I made all the joinery half-lap joints. So to do that, I take the circular saw, I set it to half the depth of the uh, the four by four, um, and I make a series of cuts everywhere. Basically, two boards are going to come together. So uh, it provides a, a really good, strong joint that, uh, that that just it just lasts and holds up pretty well to uh, um, basically wind and, and any any kind of loads that uh, that would come up. To, uh, that it'll be exposed to. So after I take the uh, circular saw through, I take a hammer and just knock all the pieces out. It's a good quick way to remove the uh, remove the stock. And the nice thing about it is when you take the circular saw through, you basically establish a depth. So every um, you know, every cut basically uh, you know, establishes a depth. <laughs> so what I do is I take the oscillator after that and I go in and clean up the um, you know clean up the cuts but what you see here is some of the cuts were, were actually um, blind I guess a blind mortise to where um, basically it doesn't extend all the way through the end of the board so that was a lot of uh, a lot of work for the oscillator but uh, it it, uh, it does it makes a pretty short work of it uh, the only problem with it is is the depth of the blade so like in the cut you see here I couldn't fully you know, I couldn't get the blade fully um, to the back of the cut so I took a hammer and um, basically just chipped away at it and then uh, came back in and, and cleaned it up as I as I as I went here I'm just finishing up uh, cleaning out that uh, that blind mortise or dado I guess uh, as it were um, and then uh, once I'm done here I'll just flip it over and give you a, give you a view of um, basically how how well the oscillator does to, at cleaning up the um, uh, the saw cuts. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. But you can you can you can see the uh, you know, where the, the saw went through to provide the depth. And basically, I'm just bringing that across, almost like a you know, just like an oscillating chisel for that matter, and uh, just bringing it down to those to those saw lines. Works uh, works really well and makes pretty short work of uh, of the task. All right, so I got all the pieces here cut and uh, all the joints done. Um, got it all laid out. All I have to do is uh, put it together. Have the first one put together and just wanted to make sure it was done. It would go together. And then uh, I had some issues with this one. I had to tweak some of the some of the angles, but uh, everything is in. I just got to throw it together and throw some screws in it. inches I think only one of the eight boards was three and a half inches they're all bigger hmm. but that's okay <laughs> it's still not enough mm -hmm. there it is. yeah no it's gonna break it 
Split that beam. I don't want that to split out. Go a little further. That's better. Looks good. That'll work. Yay. Oh. Good job, honey. Okay, that's that one. Yep. So, let's go and do this one. Give me that. Give you what? Better. Yep. Can we step on it? Yeah, that does make it harder since you can't see the bottom part. Yeah. That should Looks good. Those are nice. The screws? Yeah. Are those the ones that that R and R uses? These are GRK. It's a brand. They've got self tappers on the end. They got these anti outs on the bow on the top. These big flat heads. Huh. They just suck the wood right together and. Nice. Wait a minute. Yeah, there should be. Bottom should be right there. Okay. All right, with the frame done, um, uh, all I had left to do was make the nest box. So what you see here is I'm cutting out the uh, straight pieces with the with the uh, track saw, and then doing some some layout for the um, sides and uh, supporting pieces in the center, and cutting that out with the jigsaw. So uh, I mean, we'll get that done and um, start the assembly. All right, so all the pieces are cut out. Um, just gonna go ahead and uh, staple it all together, and maybe I'll go back later and put some screws in once uh, once I you know if it needs it. <laughs> Looking like a nest box. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Big old nest box. Mm -hmm. Lots of birds, lots of eggs.
What? The air was pointing right in my face. Okay. Yeah, shooting a nail from my hand isn't an ooh sound. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Happened before. It in your hand? It doesn't come out that way. <laughs> More like oh, awesome. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> oh, I have a book. I have nails. Are you? Sitting here. Sitting here going to town. Got no nails to shoot. How do you know exactly where it is? Don't. You're doing good. So that's it, eight foot long. Uh, roll away, so this will be the lid. I'm gonna put some hardware cloth down here to go from the bottom. Uh, we're gonna have a, um, like a whatever mat I find, best nest mat or a, I don't know, I might go with something a little cheaper this time, but we'll see. I'll probably go with the best nest because it really seems like it works real well outside and I have, I have enough of it. Um, I'm gonna go with some hardware cloth to go from the that level of the best nest over to the to the end wall here so that'll give me like two and a half inches no yeah it'll give me two and a half inches of clearance or maybe maybe it's two it'll give me two inches of clearance for the eggs to roll through it should be enough that the chickens can't get to it and they'll end up over here so we've got basically four it's basically four two foot by 12 inch by 12 inch boxes um, all one piece uh, the staples held together pretty well. It should be out of the rain is the plan. Um, it'll have enough of an overhang. It'll be up underneath the coop. So I'm hoping that the staples will last at least for the short term. So for now, this is like, it's a prototype essentially. And um, yeah, I'm not gonna seal this in any way. So um, we're gonna see how it does and make some modifications to the next design. And, uh, and then we'll be able to put uh, another eight foot box on top of this one is is the end goal basically to have two two eight foot uh, rollaways so we will we'll see i don't know I, off the top of my head i can't remember how many birds that is but i think it's it's well over 100 by best nest uh, standards so yeah, we'll see how it goes we're gonna load this up in the trailer and head over to the farm and hopefully put it all together and and it's everything's chicken. good to go yep mm -hmm. see you there Okay, so we just got to the farm. We just got this trailer, what, a weekend ago? One week ago or two? Last Saturday. Last Saturday, yeah. Right? Yeah. So um, it's to haul livestock and all kinds of good stuff. But we brought it and filled it full of the new coop. And we are over at the farm and we are going to set it right here. So we will put you all on maybe a time lapse and then you can see what it looks like because tomorrow we're supposed to be getting um like 25 more birds we had a local farm that contacted us and said that they're not able to take care of them any longer and um they were just wondering if we could take them so i'm kind of excited about that the only thing is um you know we've heard that you should have like all in all out you shouldn't really add to your birds but they need someone to take them same age. yeah and they're the exact same age as ours so we're hoping that if we do them at night Tonight we're going to bring ours over and put ours in the coop. Then tomorrow we're going to bring theirs over at, in the evening at night and put them in with ours. So hopefully this will work. We shall see and we will let you know. as late as we could. Um, 
Nick was like driving these nails in the dark, which was difficult, but this is what we got done. And now we have to put on the roof and we have to put in the nest box and then we should be ready to bring over the chickens. We really wanted to do it last night and bring the chickens at night, but it just didn't work out and we ran out of time. And the battery stopped on the GoPro, so we didn't get to film at all. But anyway, we're here to finish this morning. So the coop is ready over at the farm, pretty much. We still have to get um, a part that goes on top. I forget what that's called, a ridge something. We need a ridge cap. Ridge cap. And we need to hook the nest box. H hook up the nest box, yeah. But other than that, it's ready to go. So we're gonna load our chickens up into the eggmobile and then put it on the trailer and then take them over. And then we will go get the other chickens at the other farm and take them over to the farm. So that's what we're doing. All right, we got it all loaded, all the supplies, and we got all the chickens. So now we are ready to go. We made it, and now we are going to put the fencing and then um, get out the chickens.
And now they're all here enjoying their new paddock at the farm. What do you girls think? Isn't your new nest box incredible? I mean, your new coop? It's wonderful, isn't it? You love it? I love it. Dad did a good job. We just got to put that um, top part, the ridge thing, and then they are set. And we got to go get the other chickens. You all are beautiful. So we just got back with the rest of the chickens that we got from another farm here close to us. They're only just a couple miles away and they are beautiful. Um, she thinks there's 24, so we'll count them as we take them out and see. But there's um, longhorns and there's several that I, we don't have. So we are hoping that they do well with ours and that ours do well with their with them. Um, like we said earlier, they're the same age. So there's a couple that are older, she said, but the rest of them, she got them as chicks in March, which is when we got ours. So we're gonna wait until the sun goes down and then we're gonna try to put these into the coop with them. And hopefully when they wake up in the morning, they will be happy and they'll all be friends. That would be ideal and that would be wonderful. So we don't have too much longer to wait. That's awesome! I know, I'm coming to look. Aww! Yay! Good job, girls! Good job! And they didn't eat it. We've had a couple of them eating them here recently. And there it is! Yay! It's so pretty and perfect. That's awesome. So they found the roost. I mean, they found the nest boxes. So they've been up there. Obviously. Yeah. So they've been up on here. Yeah. And they found where to lay. That's wonderful. We'll walk around and see if we find any. Okay. We did not film this part because it's dark. And it was difficult because we didn't bring our headlight. Headlight. We just had our phone, and we got all the new birds in there. They look like they are comfy, cozy, and hopefully when they wake up in the morning, they'll all be friends. That would be really nice, wouldn't it, babe? Yeah. All right, we're good. tomorrow morning, Sunday, so we have church, but we're gonna come over here first and check on them before we go to church. And make sure they're doing okay. All right, good night, girls. We just got here, and they are looking pretty good, looking happy. Hey, did you find new friends? You be nice to them, okay? So it looks like everything worked pretty good. It's a little bit wet up here. And we think it's because we haven't gotten the piece to go in the middle yet. Dry from here to the center. Okay, good. I just love those Long Island, I mean the Leghorns. Wow, there's, there's a lot of poop on the trusses. There is? I can't really think about that. What? Pooping on the trusses and we have to clean that off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't think about that either. So it seems like a lot of hers, the new flock, are over here together, sticking together. And then the old flock, there's one of ours. That one's right there. It's one of the original. But the rest of them, the rest of ours that we had are over here, sticking together. Huh. So they're not mixing much, but they're not fighting. Hey, these are so cute. Hi. I'll bring you a treat later. How about that? You're so cute. And you're so tiny. You're so tiny. The sun coming through that tree. The sun coming through that tree. Oh, that's so pretty. That's beautiful. Now that's Penelope. And that one came over here and... Don't hurt Penelope. She's pretty and she's nice. Hey! 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 Stop it! No! No! I've never had a problem with you. Now stop. No! I mean it.
You know better. All right, guys, so we got the perch installed. Um, I'm all hunkered down inside the coop here, but uh, just to give you an idea why, I guess why I built it the way I did. So the nest box sits so close to these uh, roost bars that when the perch, for the perch to flip up, um, perch basically the two before, and for it to flip directly up, there just isn't room. So I ended up making a four bar linkage out of it with uh, uh, the um, uh, the chicken guard that we bought for the, for the door for the other coop. So basically it's just some pipe with a couple screws for uh, for um, pivot points into a two before, and then some two befores for some counterweights. Right now I just haven't duct taped on, haven't, uh, haven't uh, fully secured them yet. So basically when the chicken guard hit is, is activated, this just comes up and ro you know, rotates up and blocks the, uh, blocks the boxes. So I'll show you how that works here. It's time to close them up anyway. Push it twice. Pulls them up, counterweights all basically offset the weight of the two before so the motor can uh, can pull it. So the motor only has an eight pound capacity. So the, my idea is that in the future as we get more chickens, we can extend the coop, which uh, basically just extends the roost bars. And then I can just duplicate this nest box and put it underneath. Then this rope from the, uh, from the, uh, the motor can come down and, and actuate both of them. So the counterweights, um, offset the weight of the whole mechanism so that the chicken, so that the uh, the motor can run three to four, uh, three to four nest boxes. So that's in the future. We'll see if that actually happens. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching.